I was in conversation this week with someone, and someone was asking me, what if Aqsa does not belong to Muslims? What if we have taken that place from Jews or Christians? So I said, listen, do you believe what Allah says? He goes, yes, of course, I believe what Allah says. I said, it's not about me, it's not you, it's not someone else, it's not this president or that country. Let's see what Allah says about the place. Allah wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, Subhanallah asra bi abdihi laylam min al masjid al harami ila al masjid al aqsa. What did Allah say? Masjid or church? Masjid or kanisa? Allah used the word masjid. And mas massages are what? House of? Operated by? Muslims. By? Because what Allah says in the Quran, وَأَنَّ الْمَسَاجِدَ لِلَّهِ And then what is the condition? You know in Arabic there is the adwatu shart and then juabu shart. Right? And then what Allah says, فَلَا تَدَعُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ Okay, now this makes it clear to every one of us that this masjid belongs to Muslims. It belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Muslims are the only one those who do not associate any other human being or any other body with Allah wa ta'ala. When we worship, we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Kala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, La tashuddu rihalu illa illa thalatha. Thalasati masajid. Number one, masjid al-haram. Number two, he said, masjidi hadha. Which means the masjid an nabawi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the third place he mentioned, he said, wal masjid al-aqsa uqmaqal an nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This hadith mutafakun alayhi. He mentioned these three masajids. So I said, we didn't, you know, forcefully take this place from anyone. This place belongs to Allah wa ta'ala and now it belongs to Muslims. It is very clear. Allah made it clear in the Quran that this is a masjid and masajids belongs to Muslims.